making his way to the cage with a record of three and one from Marshalltown, Iowa, Tim Garrett. All three of his victories have come by TK or knockout. We're gonna continue that streak here tonight. This is his debut under the caged aggression banner, so I know he's looking to bring some time control. For sure, and he's facing a very tough guy in Bobby Down, 7-2 record. He definitely has the experience on his side, but I think it should be a great fight. Yeah, another thing to know too about this fight is it's actually a number one contender fight. The winner of this fight is gonna get a shot at the amateur Walter Wade belt. Exciting. Making his way to the cage, Bobby Down. With a record of seven and two, Bobby Downs. Bobby actually has fought for cage aggression before. He uh, fought Robert Reed for the uh, Walter Waite title. He did come up short in a five round decision. But I know he's looking to come back in this number one contenders match and uh, showcase what he can do and get a shot back at that Walter Waite title. Right, everybody's looking to improve their position in the standings. He is on a two fight win streak. And this is his third fight under the cage aggression banner. way into the cage, Bobby down. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three three minute rounds in the cage aggression amateur welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 169 and one half pounds. He trains with War Party MMA, joining us from Marshalltown, Iowa, Tim the Wicker Garrett. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet, two inches tall, and weighed in at 167 and one half pounds. He trains with Skunk River Grappling Club and is sponsored by Fade to Black Fight Gear, The Alley Pub, Parkins Trucking, The YMCA, PJ Thompson Farming and Trucking, Danny's Bar and Grill, and The Tech Shack. Joining us from Monmouth, Illinois, Wild Boy, Bobby Downs! And there you have it, Bobby Downs versus Tim Garrett, number one contendership for the Walter Waite amateur title. Cage aggression 16, the aftermath, round one. Both 
Both fighters moving around a lot early. Downs with a leg kick that actually kind of puts Garrett to another leg. <laughs> Garrett moving around a lot here. Yeah, it looks like neither fighter really wants to get in there right away. They're kind of feeling each other out, feeling the range. Garrett pressuring forward with a kick, and Downs is not faced by it. Winging right hand by Downs. Downs again, trying to wing that right hand. Garrett clips him, rushes in, and Downs looks for a takedown. Garrett defends. Downs gets the takedown and is partially in side control here. Just has to clear that left knee. And he does. Garrett's trying to use that headlock to buck him over, but it's going to be very, very hard to do. His best bet would be to let go of the head and pummel underneath. There's actually a choke from here that Downs could do. I don't know if he knows or not. It's called the Von Flew choke when the opponent won't let go of your head. We've actually seen that in the cage aggression. I think it was Clint Anderson that did that. You see Garrett there, he, he's going for the guillotine, but there's nothing there. Unless he can recover full guard, then he might be able to get something. But from here, he's got nothing. And he, there you see, he is going back to guard, but he loses the guillotine in the process and looks for a triangle. And he does have it locked up, and as soon as I say that, Downs slips out back into side control. Nice job by Downs. Downs is looking to work into the mount, and maybe now into the back, but it's a reversal. And he uh, winds up back in mount. Kind of a scrambling little moment there. Downs looking to posture up and lay some damage in here now on Garrett. Switches over to the arm bar. And he loses it. Bit of a mistake there by Downs. He should have been, uh, it's easier to say he should have, what he should have done, but Looks maybe be position. a little more content to stay on top and do some damage before going for that. <laughs> going for another arm bar here. Locks in a triangle position here. It's getting deeper. This looks, this looks deep. He's pulling down on the head. That's locked up. It's just going to be a matter of time until he goes out. Yeah. He's out. Very, very nice. Very nice triangle by Downs. You know, he gave up the arm bar, and he went right into a triangle after that off his back. So Bobby Downs will be fighting in April for the title. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Bruce Allen has called a stop to this contest with 12 seconds left in round one, declaring your winner by technical submission due to triangle choke, Wild Boy Bobby Downs. All right, come on over here, Bobby. I'm standing here with your winner, Bobby Downs. New, new camp, little bit of redemption from the last time you were in the cage, the aggression cage. Bobby, what's going through your mind right now, buddy? Instead, he caught me with a really good overhand. Kind of split my eye open a little bit. But uh, I just been training with a great group of guys that I'm banging with killers every day. I mean, this ain't nothing. I'm coming on a belt chase. I want every 170 belt in the area. Then I'm gonna go pro. Now he, you, like you said, he got you down, was landing some pretty big shots there early on. Looked like you stayed patient. What was the difference between the Bobby we saw tonight and the Bobby that we've seen in the past? My last loss here at Cage Depression, I had on the, the day I buried my father, so I wasn't really in it mentally. But uh, I've, just, I've been keeping a good mindset, working my ass off. Work 50 hours a week. I mean, anybody that gets in this cage, win or lose, should get some respect. Because it's, it's hard as fuck getting in here. Well, we can definitely tell that you've been putting in the work and it's paid off. We wanted to kind of reward you for that hard work. We were hoping that you could keep some time free in April. Come here and bang it out for the 170-pound belt. How's that sound, Bobby? Oh, that belt's coming home with me. No question about it. Anything else you want to say before I let you get back to the locker room? 
Rory Swash, start training hard, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner one more time, Wild Boy, Bobby Downs, and new top contender for the Cajun Aggression Amateur 170-pound title.